Okay, what I'm going to demonstrate is how to amortize the discount on a note receivable or a note payable. And we're going to use the straight line method for uh, amortizing the discount. So what is our note receivable or note payable? Well, we entered either a receivable or a payable here in a note form at the beginning of year one. And then at the end of year four, we either receive cash on a note receivable or paid cash on a note payable here. So uh, what we're attempting to do here is we have to figure out the interest that we uh, either received or paid on that note. So this is the way we do that. We know the amount here that we received or paid at the end of the fourth year. In this case it's four thousand dollars. So what we have to do is we have to discount that four thousand dollars back into um, to, or the beginning of year one's value. So uh, to do that we have to determine the present value of the four thousand dollars we received or paid at the end of year four. So uh, either use a calculator or in this case I use the Excel formula here where we got the present value uh, that's equal to here the rate I had a 10 percent interest rate I entered four years for a number of periods and then the payment was a future value here of four thousand dollars and it was uh, the end of the period so I entered a zero here and we come up with a present value of twenty seven hundred and thirty two dollars for the four thousand uh, dollar payment made at the end of year four so now we know what our interest we can calculate what our interest that we have to amortize over that four year period. So we had our future value here of $4,000 minus the present value of 2732. So we've got $1,268 worth of interest that we have to amortize. And we have to amortize that interest to allocate the interest of the note receivable or note payable on the income statement over the four, four year period of time. So. We're going to amortize interest for the year one, year two, year three, and year four. All right, let's look at how we'd record a discount to notes receivable. Well, notes receivable is an asset on the balance sheet, and then it's associated discount here account would be a contra asset account. Then if we go over here and look at our uh, revenues account, that's part uh, that the notes receivable generated, that would be a part of net income on the income statement. All right. So when we entered the note receivable at the beginning of year one, we would credit notes receivable for $4,000. And then the um, contra asset account here in a discount of notes receivable would be $1,268. Now that was calculated here by taking the $4,000 of the in the payment in year four minus the beginning balance or the present value of that notes receivable which is $2,732 which equals $1,268. Then we amortize that amount um, to our discount here in notes receivable uh, by uh, using the straight line method. So we just take $1,268 divide that by four and then we get an interest uh, earned each year of $317. So we debit that to our discount and notes receivable. So at the end of the fourth year, uh, our discount here would be a zero. 1268 credit uh, dollars in the credit balance minus the $1,268 in the debit balance. Now the associated uh, interest entry here would be to our uh, re in our revenues account here where we got three hundred and seventeen dollars worth of interest earned each year and then if we look up here our when we entered that notes receivable the notes receivable present value was twenty seven hundred and thirty two dollars so if you add that to our interest expense that we earned each year we come up with four thousand dollars now that was what our notes receivable was was worth at the end of the fourth year. So if we go back here and look at uh, when we received the notes receivable, okay, we would credit that notes receivable by $4,000, then we'd have a zero balance there, and when we'd 
uh, our associated debit entry would be to cash, where we increased our cash account by four thousand dollars. All right, let's look at how we'd record a discount to notes payable. So notes payable is a liability on our balance sheet, and then its associated uh, discount would be a contra liability here. And then if we move over here to uh, the expenses that the notes payable generated, that would be part of net income on the income statement. So uh, in the beginning of year one, when we entered into our notes payable, we would credit or increase our notes payable by $4,000. And then the associated discount would be to the dis discount of notes payable here for $1,268. That would be the $4,000 payment at the end of year four, less the present value of the notes payable of $2,732, which equals $1,268 discount. Now, each of the uh, four, four years, we'd record our interest expense here, would be a reduction to our discount on notes payable. And the 317 was just uh, calculated here by dividing 1268 by four. That was a straight line method. So at the end of the fourth year, our discount to notes payable here would be zero, the $1,268 debit, uh, less the $1,268 credit. Now, if we look over here on our expenses account, uh, we would record our interest expense of $317 for each of the four years. So if we look back here, up at the first entry here, um, at the beginning of year one, we recorded $2,732, and that was the present value of our notes receivable. So if we add that to our interest expense each year, we have a total amount here of $4,000 on our notes payable. All right. So if we go over here now and look at our notes payable, uh, when we pay it at the end of the fourth year, our, we would debit notes payable for $4,000 and then the associated credit amount would be to cash where we reduce cash by four thousand dollars.